Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're in the sixth chapter of Mark now. We've read through five chapters, and I hope that's gone well. Uh, and again, I encourage you, uh, including those who already have, but to continue to uh, write, uh, to call, to ask questions as you read through uh, the Gospel of Mark. It's something we're doing together. It's not necessarily something we're doing on our own. So uh, as you read through, uh, continue to ask questions, please. And I, and I welcome all those and appreciate those who are asking questions. So here we are in the sixth chapter of Mark. And, and there are a couple of things about this chapter uh, that I want us to see. Uh, the first is the way the sixth chapter begins, which is the rejection of Jesus. Uh, and look at verse number uh, six, and he marveled because of their unbelief. Uh, and he went about among the villages teaching. So Jesus in his hometown was confronted with folk who uh, did not appreciate his message, did not understand his message, uh, and, and I encourage you to, to think about that opposition to who Jesus is and what he's done, particularly in familiar places. Now, the next thing I'd like to point out in Mark 6 is the story about the death of John the Baptist. That's uh, verses 14 through 29. And uh, the question I would ask uh, of us all is, you know, this is a very long story. And it's included in Mark's gospel, which can be very short. I mean, Mark is a, is a guy who, who likes to get to his point, And he includes all of the details of this story. Uh, so the question there you might ask yourself is why? Why is the death of John the Baptist particularly important that the gospel writers record it and Mark himself spends so much time? Think about that. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that one. Uh, and the next is that we have, we have two miracles that follow, Jesus feeding the 5,000 and then Jesus walking on the water. Now, the reason I bring those up as important is I think they're, uh, they're pretty familiar. Uh, even folk that have never really dealt uh, and dug into the Bible uh, might recall those miracles. So one of the challenges I find uh, sometimes when I'm reading the Bible, when I encounter a familiar story, is I read through it too quickly because I think I know it. But I encourage us all as we're working through the sixth chapter of Mark now to pause. So ask yourself these questions about the feeding of the 5,000. Put yourself in the story. Are you one of the disciples? Are you one of the uh, individuals who uh, is fed as part of this miracle? Uh, ask yourself these kind of questions. Put yourself in the story and encourage you uh, to take a particular um, uh, look at what Jesus is doing. I mean, it's not just a miracle to feed people, right? So what's behind what he's doing, and how does this explain who he is? And the same thing goes with Jesus walking on the water. Again, ask yourself, uh, what is this telling me? Slow down as you read it. Try to find something new uh, in that particular story. And when you do, give me a call, shoot me an email, uh, would love to kind of hear what you're, you're, uh, you're finding as you read through the sixth chapter of Mark. God bless you.